Welcome to Mortgages and More, your go-to podcast for the latest insights in the mortgage industry. Join us as we dive into expert advice, unveil actionable tips, and learn how to empower the next generation of home buyers. Get ready to elevate your knowledge and make those property dreams a reality. Let's get started. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Mortgages and More. We're honored to have you for the month of January as we drop these eight-minute episodes leading up to the release of our book in February. And uh, we're we're just honored to be here, Brian. It's it it it, this isn't getting old yet, and so I'm I'm having so much fun. Yeah these these uh these little uh, ten minute eight to ten minute bursts are like little uh, espresso shots for me. That's right get so much energy out of it. And I am stoked for our guest today, Mr. Mike Ferrasi. Mike, I met Mike on LinkedIn years oh, ago yeah. in, a, in his former life. And he was one of the, he's one of the inspirations for me to, to get on and, and create more content. So welcome Mike to uh, Thank our you Mortgages very much for podcast. having me guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. So we're going to get right into this. We 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 already told everybody we only have eight you know eight to ten minutes, so we got to yeah, we got to jump in. And so, Mike, you know, you volunteered or was voluntold maybe to uh, contribute <laughs> a chapter to our book. Uh, seriously, I asked your... and I happily accepted. <laughs> uh, so why don't you why don't you just tell us a little bit about what you're going to cover, but don't give it away. You know, we still want people to go click the. Uh, the yeah, Amazon yeah, link. no, we'll. <laughs> We'll go main bullet points. I'm a I'm a video content guy, right? So that's like our my red button media, hit the red button.com is a video content agency, not a social media agency. And that's the first thing that we go over in the chapter is that video content is not social media. Uh, that's that's one of those kind of misconceptions out there. Social media is a distribution channel for video content, but it's not the only place that video can be useful. So the first thing that we go over in the chapter is why you should make video. I spend very little time on that because, I mean, at the time of this episode's publishing, it's 2024, people. If you don't know, you should be on video by now. I'm not the I'm not going to be the guy that's going to get you over the hump. Uh, and then we kind of work into, hey, think of video content as a marketing asset, not as social media because it can be used in many different ways. And then we get into how to get more intentional with that video and make it better know who you're talking to, who is your ideal client persona. You want to have that person in mind when you're making your video as if you're talking to them. And then we kind of finish out the chapter with some some expansion on things like that. And then I go over a strategy that I call the pain point pitch. And uh, Brian has seen on, on the socials lately, I've, I've taken to uh, the term of pitch slapping. I hate it when people hit people with pitch slaps in social media, whether it's DM or on video or whatever it is. If you want to create a piece of content that nobody wants to see, do that. Um, This is a way to kind of pitch a product in the, I don't want to say the proper way, but the proper way to get people to actually pay attention to it. So it's going to resonate with them. So you just, you just covered a lot that's going to be in this chapter. Yeah. I am. We, neither Kyle, Kyle or I have seen the chapter yet. So we're, uh, we're, we're kind of learning it uh, right with the, our audience here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We only gave you one chapter, Mike, right? I know. What, what, would have, what would you have loved to have shared in the book had we given you, you know, another chapter? So much. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Could, could have been a book and a half. Um, but the one thing that I want to touch on for, for today I refer to as content multiplication. Uh, A lot of people are trying to get more intentional with their content, publish it more consistently. If, if you are looking at publishing more content on social media and you want to get more organic reach, meaning free reach, and you don't want to put any paid ad spend behind it, you're probably sick and tired of the C word consistency, because that's the one thing that everybody says, you got to be consistent. You got to do it all the time. And it's annoying, but everybody says it because it works. Like that's the one foolproof way to actually gain a viewer base and gain an audience is to show up all the time where they are paying attention. Uh, And that's what this whole thing is. It's a game about grabbing people's attention. But in showing up consistently, I post fresh video content on all the socials every single day. 
And I get the question all the time, how the heck do you come up with fresh content every single day? Because people are sitting there with making their lists or thinking about their ideas, things they want to, you know, hit the red button, get on video, things to talk about. But you don't have to have a new video topic every single day. That is an addition mentality. I want us to get into a multiplication mentality. It's not just about the topic of what you're talking about or the value that you're giving or the problem that you're solving. It's about who you're talking to and who you're solving that problem for as well. This is where we really get into ideal client personas, ICPs, you'll hear them in the biz, or just your target client, the person that you want to work with more than anybody. For loan officers, that could be first-time home buyers, but don't stop there. Get really detailed and intentional with this because you shouldn't just have one ideal client. If you think that your ideal client is anybody in the market for a mortgage, then you're wrong and you're serving no one, right? So you need to get intentional with this stuff. I personally live in a college town. So if I was a loan officer, my ideal client might be a college graduate who's looking to buy their first home, who rents in these certain zip codes, who makes this much money on a job where they get paid with a W-2, has graduated college within the last five years, they can obviously afford a housing payment because they're currently renting in that town, but they think the down payment is holding them back. I'm going to oh. talk to that person way different than I talk to an experienced investor who has 10 properties in their portfolio and is looking to refinance so they can leverage their equity to expand that portfolio into 12 properties. Like I'm going to talk to those people incredibly differently. So sometimes you don't need to change what you're talking about. You just need to change who you're talking to. So if you end up having five ideal clients because you serve recently divorced women really well, because you like, you know that and that's close to your heart. You serve first time home buyers of a certain kind very well. You serve property investors because you have a, a, a knockout DSCR program at your disposal. Like if, if you have five ideal clients and five video topics, not a boatload, just five video topics, deliver those five video topics specifically to each of those ideal clients. The context is going to change. The messaging is going to change. It's going to resonate with the viewer much better. And all of a sudden, you're not dealing with addition. It's not five plus five. It's five times five, five topics to five different people. That's 25 pieces of content, not 10. And that's content mul multiplication. That's how you can get much more consistent on socials with your content publishing. That is gold, mm. pure gold. I, so Kyle, good. I hear you talk a lot about um, say it again, right? If you if you think oh, people yeah. heard you say it again, because that yeah. not everybody's heard you. And this is this is the... To me, this is a play off of that, uh, that coaching totally. that you do. It's so, it's so good. Um, you know, say it again is kind of like that wraps up into like your core content. Like if you don't yeah. have a few pieces of core content that are near and dear to you that you talk about every single time, then you're doing your new audience a disservice. Right. Yeah. Cause people that find you six phones from now, aren't going to go back into your back library and look at everything that you've ever done. You know, they're going to pay attention yeah. to you from that point on. And if you're not delivering that core messaging and saying it again, like you say, Kyle, like those, those people aren't going to get those messages. That's look it, at, bro. There's you know, so many follow-up questions that I have that if only we had the time. So <laughs> I know, right? Guys, be on the lookout. Get ready. The book is coming soon. We'll also be bringing Mike back on to do a full episode. Let's go. Sometime this year. And uh, man. I, I know selfishly, bro, I'm I'm just excited to get to know you better through this process, Likewise, which is man. what I love about this book is just bringing good people together that are trying to move our industry forward. And so thank you for saying yes to being a part of this. Absolutely. I'm going to, I'm going to float it out there. I don't know when, where, or how this could happen. I know everybody has busy schedules and the laundry list of contributors to this book is, is pretty eye opening. But if we could somehow do a meetup where we can have everybody in a single yes. photo, that would be yeah. incredible. That yeah. will happen. 100%. We will, cool. we will make that happen somehow, some way. Mike, thank you, brother. I appreciate thank you, you guys. Much appreciated.
Peace.